Today I'm going to show you a very exciting tutorial on PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this particular uh, design called the uh, Year Planner Book or the Notebook or any other book you can call this. So here uh, I have just put the title here, Year Planner Book, and then you can add some details here for each month. And then you can see here I have added 12 pages starting with Jan to December and this is uh, totally done in powerpoint and i have not used any animation so that you can do it with ease so let me just show you how it works when i click you can see here the page turns and the come it comes here and then the first page which is jan is visible you can add the text you can add image whatever you want you can just add it here and when i click this jan move to the left side and the text i have just replaced it here and then the feb data is visible so on my next click you can see here it keeps on moving to one place to another place you can see here this is august september october november and december and then you can add some text here also so this is a very easy way i can explain you to create this and uh, before i continue just uh, subscribe my channel powerpoint university and you can support my channel uh, by using these two methods of paypal or the patreon the link has been given in the description section so let's start add a new slide and i'm going to change the slide background for that go to right mouse click go to format background and uh, from the fill you select picture or texture fill and from the texture i'm going to select this one which is the medium wood you can see here then go to effects and here under artistic effects i can just go and make it blur so it looks something like this then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the rectangle you can see here draw the rectangle maybe this much size depending on your requirement and make it less curved something like this you can see here i can increase the width if i required and i'm just going to place it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill any dark color you can uh, put it if you want you can put the the gradient fill also and i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and just add to the right side you can see here something like this the next thing is to add the white paper go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can use a white color here and if you want you can give some shadow effect something like this and then i'm going to add the lines go to insert shapes select the lines you can see here hold the shift key and make this much size and give some gray color here press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add as per your requirement you can see here this many lines i have added and then i can select this line and group it and i'm just going to group the paper also select the shift key and ctrl g to group it and i'm just going to add this to the right side press ctrl d and then just add it here you can see here so this is how the pages added only the thing is you can just select and give the shadow effect towards the right the next thing is i'm going to add a shape here to add the months for that go to insert shapes select the top corners rounded you can see here something like this and shape outline make it no outline and any color of your choice you can select and then go to rotate i'm just going to say rotate right 90 degrees and then just put it here and you have to make sure that uh, the size should be small enough so that the 12 shapes can come here so that we can add the the months here so once this is done what i'm going to do is insert text box and i'm going to type jan here and this one i'm just going to rotate the shape something like this center align and then put it here and these two also i'm just going to group it press ctrl g and then i'm going to select this as well as ctrl g to group it now let's add the spiral binding for that go to insert shapes and from the equation shapes i'm going to select the equal sign you can see here just make it something like this this much 
and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to use some gradient fill so gradient fill i'm going to use uh, one stop i'm going to use black color the other side also i'm going to use black color you can see here then i'm going to add one stop where i'm going to use some white color and here also i can use some light gray color and the type select linear and the direction you can select maybe this one which is a uh, linear right so it looks something like this and then press ctrl d to duplicate and just add it give some space and then add it press ctrl d four or five times depending on your requirement so let me just move this somewhat up and then i'm just going to select this by holding the shift key and go to align distribute just say vertically so it gives equal spacing between the the shapes so you can see here the page has been added for the month of jan either you can add the text here and then group it or you can add the pages and later on also you can add the text or the images so let me just duplicate this slide you can see here and then i'm just going to select this one which is the jan press ctrl d and i'm just going to attach at the bottom you can see here and go to format and change any color of your choice and i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to add it you can see here or instead of duplicate what you can do is you can just simply ctrl c and ctrl v copy and then you can just add this is for the month of uh, february so i'm just going to add feb you can see here feb feb and then i'm just going to delete this one control just delete this one and this also delete this and then i'm going to select this and group it press ctrl g to group it so you can see here this is the paper for uh, february so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this ctrl c come to the first slide ctrl v you can see here and then just go to format and send to back so you can see here this is for the month of jan and this is for the month of feb so likewise what you need to do is you need to just ctrl d to duplicate and again i'm just going to select this press ctrl d you can see here and then i'm just adding it here and you can see here again ctrl c ctrl v and i'm just going to give it march you can see here this is march and then i'm just going to select this delete this delete this and the color i'm going to choose some different color here maybe this color and you can see here i need to just group this ctrl g again ctrl c come to the first slide ctrl v and then again send this to back so before that i can just select this spiral binding and better to group it so it will always has to be bring to front so you can see here this one again let me just send this back send back you can see here so this is jan feb march like this you can add uh, till uh, december so maybe this is the opening page i can just give some different color uh, for this maybe some light gray color i can give so this is for the jan here i'm just going to add the text add any text of your choice i'll just give some a uh, latin text so and then i'm just selecting this one and i'm going to select the font which is the hand of sean you can see here and if you want to reduce the size give some spacing and then just put it here and if you have uh, some image also you can just add image you can go to insert icons you can add the image so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and this press ctrl g to group it so you can see here this is one group now now uh, i'm just going to duplicate the slide you can see i'm just duplicating the slide and i'm going to select this go to format rotate and i'm just rotating flip horizontal and i'm moving this one here and bring this to front you can see here this is to front so what happens here is i'm not going to add any animations so this is the first slide and when i click the jan is moved towards to the left and then the feb is uh, visible so likewise i'm going to add 12 slides because i have added 12 months here 
Now I'm going to add the detail text for the FEP. So go to insert text box. You can just add this is the text for FEP and you can give any font. Maybe again, I'm going to use the same font and of Sean and you can give some different color combinations, whichever way you want, something like this. And then I'm going to group this also press control G to group it and make sure this always you need to bring this to front. Now this is my fab. Now what I'm going to do add a new slide or oh, sorry, duplicate the slide. And then I'm moving this fab to this side. Again, I'm just going to select this, go to format, rotate, flip horizontal. You can see here and just put it here. So now the march is visible. So you need to add the text for the march here. Likewise, you need to complete for the remaining months.